You're wearing a whorish amount of makeup. You should have a baby before your uterus goes bad. Women should not do sports, but instead do the puff piece like baby animals. You will always get your haters on social media. I don't understand why people think that it's different between a face-to-face -face interaction as it is a social media interaction. It's the exact same thing. When you read those words, it still cuts. My option was here. My name is Lauren Majera. I'm 34 years old, and I'm the weekend sports anchor and reporter here at WGN in Chicago. My experience in the industry of sports journalism as a female, you are criticized way more harshly doing the exact same job that a man is doing just for the sole fact that you're a female. 1A title game in high school hoops. Providence. One of the most common ones that I hear is she's nothing but a pretty face. And I find that to be one of the more offensive things that I hear because it completely discredits my integrity, my creativity, my work ethic. People just spew hate without thinking twice. I don't know why that's so accepted in our culture. I found that the most surprising, hurtful piece of hate that I'd ever received wasn't on on social media, and it wasn't an email. It was a handwritten letter that somebody had written, and they sent it in the mail to my television station. And it went on to say that the only reason that I had my job is because I wanted to put myself in position to rape high school boys. They did the most like cowardly thing, which was put no return address on it. So not only are they gonna put these like hateful, horrific things that are like so far from the truth about me into existence and send it to my place of work, but they're not even like going to have these even like slightest amount of ownership over it. It's crazy that it happened like years ago and I forgot about it. And even just like talking about it, like it's still like bringing tears to my eyes. Words are probably the most powerful thing that we have in existence on Earth. It's where you take something that doesn't exist in the physical world, like a feeling or an attitude, and uh, you make it real, and it can be contagious. I always love when people will go out of their way to tell me that they love my energy. It's just like such a nice thing to say, and it's so encouraging as well, because it's like saying like, I like who you are, I like your vibe, with something so powerful and so contagious, why not make it a more brighter, beautiful, and positive thing?